top of Duke. This is where Duke will go for their own. And we'll get a foul. Baller Esports. Two on one. Mills, Boykins. And one. That's all Boykins. The tough part about that play for Duke is you got to foul. Both the get trying to get back on that bad ankle with right away to Torrey Mills. He gives it up to Boykins, and you can see Wojciechowski tried to change directions, couldn't do it in time. Boykins at the line, the bucket. Right here, watch. He tries to get the heat. When he was at uh, Torrey Mills, he looked to put pressure on his. And he has to take a seat replaced by Mike Panisi. Basketball. There's Tolbert. Boykins looking to create something. Guarded by Collins. There's Panisi in the corner, lefty jump shot. Kept alive and recovered. Michigan isn't up and down the court. And that's why you're looking at 22 points here with four minutes to go. Boykins, the little guy. He's got nine. Oh boy, Newton is down, holding his back. Right there, you see the little jump shot by Boykins, but you got to worry about Newton being down. He's been active, blocking shots. Boy, that's a big loss if he doesn't play. From Mike Panisi, and he's playing with the bruised rib. Traveling violation on the baseline. Basket will not count. Here's Boykins from downtown. Oh, he got held. Brunson held his right hand. No doubt about it. Nick Panisi was trying to get it, and Brunson held his arm. Second foul on Stan Brunson. So Coach Ben Braun calls out for one shot for Eastern Michigan. with the strip, 39-30. Eagles on top of Duke. This is where Duke will go for their own. And we'll get a foul. Foul is on the Eagles. 14 minutes to go in the second half. Eastern Michigan up by nine over Duke. The shot if he throws it inside is not bad. Boykins Boykins slide inside, pull it up. And Boykins wants to show I play basketball. 20 points, 67, 56, 213, and a steal by Boykins, and he keeps the steal. Oh no, no, he didn't do that. 
Boston. The Eagles from Eastern Michigan beat the Duke Blue Devils 75 to 60. They will advance to the next round and take on the Huskies from Connecticut.